<laughs> Those are my hands. <laughs> Remember when you wanted to know what my hands were? That's my hands trick. Can I ask you one question? Yeah. Who the heck wears fanny packs anymore? Cool hacks. <laughs> fanny pack hacks. <laughs> Friends who came back from cardio that wear packs to carry their cell phone. Oh, okay, I got it. All right, the friends. In this video, I have water on my lip because I just drank water. <laughs> and I'm gonna talk about what I did when I overate during my weight loss journey, gained weight, and felt really bad about myself. First, I'm gonna tell you what I did that made it worse. Then I'm gonna tell you how I fixed it. I'm out of breath from hands. And from that weird exorcist walk thing you did on the pavement? <laughs> that's called hands. Oh, that's the hand yeah. walk. <laughs> okay. I have lost 130 pounds and kept it off for six years. At my heaviest weight, I was 275 pounds. When we started losing weight, I was doing really good. Then I took away treats and I started binge eating again and I gained back 10 pounds. I felt awful about myself and I thought to fix it, I was going to start over exercising to try to burn off the weight that I gained. That was a horrible mistake that just ended up in me under eating and over exercising. And then the next thing I did I pulled back and under ate, thinking that I could make up for all the food I ate and all the weight I gained by under eating. No, that was, then my body said, she's starving herself and it just held the weight. I didn't lose any and I felt really crappy because I was under eating and over exercising and then because I had taken away all the food that I enjoyed, thinking I also had to eat only diet food like chicken and broccoli and no carbs, I felt crappy and then I was binging again because I took away all the food I liked. Finally, I realized I can't punish myself like that because that just puts me in that cycle and I'm gonna gain all the weight back if I don't stop this now. So I loved myself enough to say, okay, I made a mistake. Yeah, I gained weight. It sucks. But if I keep on this path, my health is going to go right back to where it was when I was 275 pounds. So I put treats back in. I gave myself portion treats and I started eating portions of what I liked again. But first I said, mistakes happen. Weight loss journeys are not linear. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fall off track. But the point is you pick yourself back up and you keep going and you look at why you fell off track. I took away treats. I, res I restricted myself and I tried to force myself to exercise in a way I didn't like anymore. What I really liked was walking or riding the recumbent bike. So I went back to doing that and I put in foods that I liked. Right now I eat, I love all of my meals. I drink my water, I put in water flavor so that I actually like to drink it. Yeah, because if, if you guys know our story, me and Nicole went from like a just pop diet of- Full sugar. Full pop. sugar pops about probably five to seven a day. So we couldn't go to, you know, like all the mainstream advice, just drink your water, drink your water and get rid of all the flavor. No. No, we had to keep the flavor in. So be gentle on yourself, realize mistakes are normal and go right back on your plan. A lot of people after they binge will go, if I have plans, uh, say you had plans to go out for dinner after, they'll not do it. Do your normal day. Do not try to make up for it by taking away food or over exercising. Do continue on with your regularly scheduled day, eat your regular meal plan. If you already exercise, do not exercise again. If you planned on going out for pizza, even though you went off track already, go out for pizza and just eat until satisfied. Don't punish yourself for making a mistake. Yeah, you gotta be gentle. So like, for an example, what I used to do, say there was a holiday coming up or like my birthday in a week or two, and I overate like the weekend before. Mm -hmm. I would then make up this grand plan that for my birthday, I'm not gonna have a piece of cake and ice cream. That is 
like compounding problems, setting yourself up for more and more setbacks and more weight gain in the long run because you're gonna be denying yourself. Yeah, and I did that. And then I would go to the birthday or my birthday and I wouldn't eat the cake. And then later I'd eat everything that was left over from the party because I denied myself one piece of cake. Imagine at your own birthday party, you're not gonna eat the cake. And I didn't, I, Christmas, birthdays, I always said no. And then it would end up in binging. So made a mistake, it's okay. We learn from the mistake and move on. So then you learn from what happened. You were restricting, you were taking away food and feeling guilty. Now, let's put in a plan that will actually help you move forward and be successful, less likely to fall off track. I haven't binged in six years in all the time I've kept the weight off because I set myself up for success. I eat treats every once in a while. I'll take a day once every couple of months, eat as much as I want until satisfied of whatever I want. The rest of the time, I eat in a calorie deficit. I eat low calorie dense foods, which means foods that are low calorie that I can eat a lot of, like low calorie ice cream, French toast, popcorn that's fat, low fat, I can eat a lot, feel full, and love my diet. So you gotta love what you're doing. You have to be in a calorie deficit and love what you're doing for food-wise and for exercise. I like to walk, so don't force myself to jump rope. I used to do that and I'd go off track. Find something that works for you. If you're constantly going off track and gaining weight and not able to stay on your plan, it's not working for you. So like the only diets that actually work are the ones that you can see yourself sticking to forever. And once I figured that out, I didn't go back to the place that I was. Be gentle, forgive yourself, mistakes happen, find something that works for you. And the guy behind the camera, if you guys don't know, has also lost 130 pounds and kept it off for six years now. And me and Nicole don't care if you like keto, if you do OMAD, if you do fasting, we wouldn't recommend it for beginners because uh, of emotional eating yes, issues. Yes. However, if you're if you like that and you have no problem sticking to that for the rest of your life great but for me and nicole it didn't work so we had to find something and some exercise plan and diet plan that didn't feel like a plan it felt like yes. life and no matter what you choose if you choose one of those that's cool but you in order to lose weight you have to eat in a calorie deficit there is no magic thing which we thought there were magical pills and ways out that we could find no no matter what you do you have to eat in a calorie deficit so we choose to like our food in that calorie deficit and move our body in a way that we like because then we do it every day like we just did cardio because we like it and we, we like walking we also choose to live beside a circus yeah i'm actually like i'd love to go over there and have a circus party right maybe now. there's a cake over there for a party. Do you think they'll like my hands? My hands? I think you should. we should just walk into the party on our hands. Like that. Oh yeah. And then we'll bring the party to you, fanny packs and all. Show the friends what happens. Whoa, whoa, PG. Oh. Show the friends. See when you stay on track, when you like your food, this is what happens, guys. Like whoa. your food, forgive yourself for your mistakes. I still struggle, but I like my food. I like what I'm doing for exercise. And I wear fanny packs. I wear fanny packs with cool chapstick. Show them this. See that? that <laughs> and then I do this, a little bit of this, a little, little bit, bit of, of squat action. Live beside a circus, do this. Check out this. Whoa. This. Hey, 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 we can't do that on YouTube. Let's let's end this with another hands episode. <sighs> oh yeah, and I want to say Share this, like, subscribe. That helps out the channel and it will bring true advice, honest people that have done it, that have kept the weight off for six years. It will bring this all over the world. And if you wanna like your food, you wanna know exactly what we did to lose our first and next 50 pounds. <sighs> Simple portion control, no counting calories, none of that. That hand thing takes me out of breath. We have two weight loss guides down below. Exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds. Balanced meals, tasty treats, exact meal plan, portions, family friendly recipes. Watch these two videos. Do this, do the hands, lawn more it up. Get a fanny pack. <laughs> Love you guys, peace and out. See ya. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.